Hey, this is Zach with Gamefront here with an achievement guide for Dungeon Siege 3. I can do this blindfolded and Arkham Bods and Nathium. Anathium? Anathium. Let's go with Anathium. Alright, so let's go into the equipment screen. And basically, you're going to have to load up all the weapons that you started with. Everything you started with. And it's nice the game keeps it for you, even if you try to sell uh, or if you sell everything you have in your inventory, those things will still be there. Anything that has a zero next to it. Just select those and you see, like, I'm unselecting the ring, unselect the uh, augment or whatever the hell that thing was, and yeah, just basically go through everything, make sure it's a, a black item that you started off with. It should have a zero uh, uh, price next to it. Coin, whatever. And then basically go under your AI partner, or if you're playing online with a friend, it'll be a lot easier, but go under your AI partner and you know, make sure that they have the best of the best. Like, you know, I unequipped a, a really good ring and a, a, a pendant or necklace, whatever. And so I equipped them with it to just help me out. You simply do not give up, do you? How much did the Meisters pay you to finish what they began 30 years ago? Tell me, what price does and my basically with this fight, with um, no matter. um, for the other achievement, Archibald's Anathium is not defeated fifty of his little uh, automatrons or uh, whatever they're called, automat. I don't know, laundromat, laundromat guys. Um, you gotta defeat fifty of them. And my thing here, since you know I have shitty weapons, I mean you can split this up into two uh, tries if you wanted to, uh, you know, have a, a you know save at the beginning and. You know, do them separately. You could. It would be a lot quicker. Um, but as you can see, uh, my AI, I'm really um, relying on them to deal most of the damage to anything, and I'm just kind of staying back. And the, the key is to stay alive and to wither down, or you know, just take down health on these different enemies just a little bit, but mainly just stay alive because it's just going to take time, especially if you're doing them both at once. Because your weapons aren't going to do a lot of damage, and you you know you need to destroy those uh, little pillar things that teleport in the enemies. So yeah, you got to kill 50 of them. And with um, Katarina and um, what is her name? And Angeli, I'll just call her Angelina. Um, they both have a ability to call in a some sort of fighting creature. Uh, Anjali or Angelina. Hers is a, a jackal, the summon jackal ability, and Katarina's is the black hound familiar. And I cannot tell you how helpful that was to be able to call in that black hound every once in a while, and he would just kind of, you know, take, you know, take the damage from me first off. He'd take the focus off of me, and he'd also, you know, deal some damage, which was really helpful. And from what I could tell, their kills, uh, their kills count for. Uh, towards your 50 total. Um, and also, when he calls in those weir the weird uh, streams of, I don't know, uh, streams of fire that come in, like that, um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, that, that hurts his guys too, and I think if it kills them, that counts for you as well. It counts towards the 50 total. And so, you know, it's just a rinse and repeat kind of thing. You know, like I said, stay alive, um, you know, use your defensive ability to heal yourself, left trigger, and X. Um, that's really helpful and you know you can choose wh who you have as your partner so if you can and, and uh, Angelina Mrs. Jolie as I like to call her uh, she's a perfect one like I said because she has that uh, the jackal ability Anyway, so, as you can see, it is just a tedious process if you're doing them both at once. It's going to take a little while. Um, I believe this was a 17-minute fight for me. And uh, no matter what, it's going to be long. And even if you split them up, you're just may it's going to be, you know, probably just as long as a 17-minute fight. Maybe you split it into two, you know, eight-minute fights. Because, you know, with the weak weapons... If you're just, you know, focusing on destroying those pillars and bringing down his barrier to get to him, you know, you can do that quicker because you're not having to try to kill those 50 automa uh, automans, automats, automats, laundromats. Boo! 
Okay, so as you can see, I've gotten his health down to halfway after this next attempt. It pretty much, uh, you only have to get another quarter of the way down and then he'll surrender. I don't know if it's just because I was fighting him and he was just so intimidated by, you know, the, the awesomeness that is me. I am awesome. See, here we go. I'm just shoot this thing. Bang. Bang. Okay, you got to watch out for that. That gets a, His uh, attack there gets bigger and has a wider radius. Um, each time you take down his barrier, it gets more powerful. So definitely make sure to roll out of the way of that thing, because otherwise it can take away almost half the health by the third time. So we're just whittling him down. But surely, there we go. We're gonna get it right there. All right, let's take this guy out. See right here. This is where it should be. There's our achievements. That's what we were hoping for. And looking to run away like a little bitch. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.